Hey guys, it's your girl GAB for life, and I really, really miss you guys. It's been a while since I've, um, well, a couple of weeks since I made um, a video, and so I'm just coming um, to you guys today with a little update. For the past couple of weeks, I haven't been doing really much with my hair. Um, for the past couple of weeks, all I've been really doing is um, puffs. And what I will do is at night time I'll prep my hair by twisting it and then the next day untwisting it and um, you know pushing it up into a puff. And the reason why I've been doing that is because for some reason I've been getting really 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 bored um, with my hair. Maybe because I usually just do two shirt twists and it was kind of getting a little boring to me. So I was doing the puffs and stuff because um, you know, I can get versatile with it with the accessories and stuff. And plus, they were really cute to me. But, yeah. But today, I finally put back in my twist because um, my hair was feeling really, really dry after a while from my twist. And um, I couldn't understand why. I was using different moisturizers and stuff. But I think maybe it was the weather. My hair was out. And then, plus, I was combing in it every day. And my hair wasn't used to that because usually I have my hair up and, you know, only time I'll take it down is when I'm going to wash it or, you know, um, deep conditioning or something. Usually I have some kind of protective style. But I enjoyed the couple of uh, weeks uh, with playing with my hair, doing different puffs and different bangs and humps and stuff like that. It was fun. But um, I think I should just give my hair a break. So that's the reason why I have these twists in. Um... I've also added a new product to my regimen, which is the VO5, um, and this is something that I just recently started doing, which is co-washing. And I usually reuse Giovanni, but being that that conditioner is so expensive, and I use so much conditioner to co-wash, I decided to buy a cheapy conditioner um, just to be able to co-wash it because I can use this as generously as I want to. I paid like 98 cents for this at the dollar store and honestly this conditioner is super moisturizing. A little bit more moisturizing than a lot of um, conditioners that I've used. So um, I've been co-washing at least once or twice a week and then I'll shampoo um, on Saturday only because I use a lot of gel and stuff and I think that that was that's the reason why my hair was getting so dry, so this did add a lot of moisture to my hair and to help wash out some of that product that was building up during the week because I really was using a lot of products to keep my hair, keep my puffs maintained. But um, the Jamaican the mango, the Jamaican mango and lime is what I twisted my hair with, and I think this is also a new staple for me. Now maybe um. About a week ago when I decided that I was going to put some more twist in my hair just to give my hair a break from the puffs, I wanted to order the um, Carol's Daughter Lock Butter because I really like it. Um, it. It's very moisturizing and it gives great hold, great stretch, and um, that's the kind of product I was looking for to twist my hair with. And I came across the Jamaican and Mango Online. Well, actually, I didn't feel like waiting for the Carol's Daughter to come in, so I just decided to go to the hair store, hair supply, and see if I could find a, a um, product that was close to the Carol's Daughter. And I came across the Jamaican and Mango Online, Jamaican Mango and Lime um, Locking Firm Wax. And I said, well, I'll just give it a try because the texture is somewhat similar to the lock butter um, by Carol Zara. And let me tell you, this stuff did an amazing job. My twists are the bomb, okay? I absolutely love it. And my personal opinion, uh, um, this stuff is almost, if not better, than the Carol's Daughter Rock Butter. So, um, this is a six ounce jar for only, uh, 
less than five dollars and the Carol's daughter is about the same amount and fifteen dollars not including um tax but I mean I love this stuff it's great but I think I'm gonna stick with this stuff you know so <clears throat> again that's all I've been doing my hair is growing um well I think it's been five months since I did my big chop and um I think I'm doing well so just within the last couple months that's couple weeks rather that's all I've been doing um I been washing um every Saturday I deep con I usually with deep condition every week but I, being that I started to co-wash during the week and stuff I will deep condition maybe every two weeks or as needed I don't deep condition as much that my hair is nice and moisturized now and um again I'm gonna give the puffs and stuff a break and just continue with the protective style for a couple weeks give my hair a little break um now usually I would keep these in for about a week only because that they will only last me a week they get frizzy and they start to shrink a little bit but I'm hoping these will last me at least two weeks but again, I'll keep you guys updated and we'll just see what happens. So that's all I've been doing these past couple weeks. Um, nothing spectacular. <clears throat> Maybe add a few products into my regimen and hopefully trying to get rid of a few. But so far, I'm liking what I've been doing. I think um, my hair has benefited from it. So thank you guys for watching. Be blessed.